Hello everybody. We're going to do an unboxing today. My birthday's coming up soon and my daddy got me this for my birthday. It was on sale for two, $299. Um, it is an Echo PV 580T, I believe it's a T model. The air volume on this puppy is 517. Engine displacement is 58.2. Maximum air speed is 216. So it should do the trick on removing leaves. But before I unbox this one, I'm going to raise the camera up here just a little bit. OK. That's the OK sign. And I'm going to zoom back out. Ah, ah, I really need a camera person to help me with this. OK. Um, I, I ordered another package and I don't remember what's in the box. I got the box right here on the oven to keep it warm. <laughs> it's on the oven to keep it warm, get it? The oven's hot when it's on, but it's not on. Okay, anyway. Be careful with these knives because they're sharp. And they can they can cut they can cut your fingers. Okay. Mm. Whoa! Oh! Look! Coffee. Maxwell House. Good to the last drop. See, I like the decaf, and they don't sell that in town here anymore. So I had to order it. I ordered two of them. It's like 16 bucks. I don't think that's too bad for two of them. I really shouldn't drink coffee, but it's decaf. And I pretend like, you know, I pretend like it's caffeine and I start jumping around and stuff because it's what I like to do. Okay, let's get to the unboxing of this over here. i got to zoom the camera down. Right down there, see that? My kitchen is so messy right now. If you're buying flooring, don't buy white flooring because dirt shows everywhere. We don't like dirt. Dirt's good for flowers, but it's not good, but it's it's not sanitary to, to live in. Okay. Alright, the first thing we gotta do is break this break the ties here. Now, since I ordered the, since I ordered this thing, I can't return it. Because they don't take returns on it. So if it don't work, I guess if it don't work, I'm out. I'm out to block. My daddy's gonna enjoy using this because he likes to blow leaves. When we when we do lot when we do um cleanup work for people, one has to blow and the other does the mulching. Yeah. I enjoy doing both. It doesn't matter, all right? Not at the same time, maybe, but... Okay. Now, I'm going to slowly put this knife away. That's a tube right there. That's another tube. There's another... This is the bottom tube. This here's the trigger device. Ah. Here's, here's another tube. This goes into the backpack blower at itself. Uh, mm, that's not too heavy. Let's get a closer look at it. There it is. Can you seize it? Can you seize it? Because I did. I took it right out of the box. Look at that big thing. Woo! That's going to feel pretty nice. Strapped on my back. It's going to be a nice backpack blower. Alright, it's going to take me a while to put this together, I think. Well, maybe it won't. I watched some previous videos on people doing it. It didn't take them long at all. Um, let me see what I'm doing. And then... Uh, I gotta get the instructions out. You don't need to see that part. That takes too long. I'm gonna pause it and I'll be back. Okay, go get yourself a drink and I'll be back with you. Okay? Okay. 
Now what we need to do, take a little WD and spray this a little bit here. Just enough to lube it up so that we can get the, oh, let me grab it, the flexible tube on there. But before you put the, it has this anti-static wire. There's a little tie in here that you put it on and then you bring it. It just fits inside this tube like this and it just hangs inside the tube. Whoops. I guess it keep you from getting shocked. Mmm. Kind of like static electricity or whatever. It just fits in there like that. And then you just punch the tube into place. See, it's, it's like a fishing wire almost. It takes a little effort. Anyway, this goes in like this. Wait, oh baby, um, mm, get in there. I got it. I got it. I got it in. Okay, it's all the way in. The flex wire is where it's supposed to be. And down here's a clamp. Now, with my regular head, with my regular head screwdriver, I'm going to, I'm going to tighten this up. Okay, that's good for now. Now the throttle cable, there's a little clamp underneath here that you put the throttle cable in, and then you close it up like that. Now we now we gotta put the other tube on. Be with you in a minute. Okay, I'm gonna spray a little WD on the end of this tube. Now do it. Now it just plugs in here. Oops. We gotta put the anti-static Clamp in the anti-static cable in there. Push it in like that. Now we just tighten her down. We just tighten her on down. Let me let me do that, and I'll be back with you. Okay, I'm back again. All I had to do was loosen up this knob, and then this this rotates. This is adjustable, and so is this part. The trigger is also adjustable. For your own liking, whatever you, wherever you think it would be good at. So we'll tighten that down there. And then this tube just goes in here. Like that. Well, we have one more tube. This here's the bottom tube because it's, it's got the metal ring on it. And then that goes in here like that. Getting a little bit, woo, getting a little winded now. Well, anyway, that's it. Let me lift it up. Gee, gee, gee. I can't really start it up in here because it's gas powered and I, I might suffocate. I might uh, asphyxiate myself is the word I'm looking for. But look at that, that ought to do some good. I'm out of two cycle fuel, so I have to go get some more. I've got two cycle mix, but i got to go, go get some gas. The pre-mix is better because it doesn't contain ethanol, but it costs, it costs more money. So it's, you know, it's whatever you want to do. You, know, you can buy the pre-mix cans or you can mix it yourself, which works good. It's just, it's just got ethanol, which you know, may not be as great for your engines in the long run, but, but it'll work. So the next step in this video will be when we go outside and test it out. But it snowed yesterday and it's wet out there, so we're not going to do it today. We'll do it soon, though. So, so come back with me soon and, uh, and maybe, maybe my daddy will strap it on his back and try it out and we can film him. We'll see what that's like, okay? Okay. I'm going to hit the pause button. We'll see you soon, okay? All right, Dan. See you soon. See you soon.
here we are at my neighbor's plantation. We're getting ready to try out the new Echo PB580T. My daddy's going to strap it on his back and blow some leaves out the driveway. And on, top, and on the walk bridge that I, I built for him about five years ago. So let's get started with that. It's chilly out here. It's chilly. It really is chilly. And I just had some chilly. Okay, here we go. Normally to start this, to start it you normally hit the primer bulb underneath until it's full of fuel. You lift the choke up all the way to the top position until it blurps a few times. And then it'll st and then push it down and it'll start. But I've already had it started because I had to test it. So one pull should do it. So let's try one pull here. That there's music to my ears because I can hear it. Okay, Daddy. backpack blower before so it's going to take a little time to get used to putting it on and off. Let's go blow off the walk bridge and see how well it does. See how it works. Today, to mulch these leaves, I'm going to be using this John Deere 777. It's a 2006 model with mulch on demand. When you pull this lever back all the way, it closes off the chute and closes off the inside of the chambers. And that mulches the leaves. you got to go over it twice, two different directions to get a good result. But it looks really good when you're done. It just kind of turns it all into sawdust. And that's really the purpose. Sawdust is where it's at. Let's see if I can get this handheld blower started. This is the steel. This is the BG56. It's not. I have. I have a bigger BG86 in there. But let's see if we can get this started. It's 
like anything else with an engine, it's got to be warmed up with the two-cycle engine. So uh, we're going to go watch Daddy blow off a little bit more, and then I'm going to get these leaves mauled. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's get this done before winter sets in. I'm already cold, and I've got the flu. I got the flu bug. It's in my brain. I got the flu bug. I can feel the strain. Big Johnny and do some mulching while Dad uses the leaf blower. We're a two-team pair here. Okay, here I go. Okay, change the channel. Okay, okay, here we go. Okay, I got the mower ready. The sun's really beating down. It's hard to see. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mow a couple of paths to show you how it works. I'm gonna mow it five inches, then I'm gonna lower it down to like. 3.7, something like that. Go over it again to show you what a nice, fine job it does. Here we go. Take a look at how we did. Can you see it? Just take a look at that. Let's zoom in a little bit. Clean them leaves right up, didn't it? Too passive and doesn't even look like there's any leaves in there. I'm gonna do that on the entire yard. Let's go check out what Daddy's doing on the leaf blower, and then, then I'm gonna finish up here because I'm having all kinds of fun.
that's about got it. Had to go over everything twice and do lots of blowing. It does help to have two or three people on these big properties. And I don't know how much is here, a couple acres. But we got it looking good. The leaves aren't all the way off the trees, but they're about halfway down. So it'll take another time or two before it's finished for the year. It may be early December. It may be late November, but I'll get it done. Pappy's over there blowing off the mower because it, it makes quite a mess. It gets caked up in the pulleys and stuff. And the radiator, since that one has a radiator, you got to blow that off because it'll overheat if it packs up in there. So, uh, I hope you found this educational and somewhat durable. And I hope you like my hat. See that? Here, you want to see what looks better? See? That's a lot better right there. You can't see my face. That's good. It's a lot better when you can't see my face. It's a lot better when you can't see my face, I said. Wait, I forgot to show you something. Looks pretty good. Got all the leaves out there. And there. And there. Okay. That's it. Well, I'm going to end this video now. So get out there and mulch some leaves. And do what I like to do. Keep on breathing. And keep your blades on the ground. Well, not on the ground, but keep them, keep them sharp. And keep them, keep them new. Keep them sharp and keep them new. Okay, everybody. I'm, I, I'm leaving now. Bye-bye. Woo! Bye.